Okay, in this video I just want to talk about two residues that if you see these in a sequence that you're given, um, you can almost assume, you know, that that sequence is not going to be part of an alpha helix, and, and this is why. Um, perlene is not found in the alpha helix because the nitrogen is part of a rigid ring and rotation about the C alpha N is not possible. Proline introduces a destabilizing kink in the alpha helix. In addition, proline residues linked by an amide bond does not have a hydrogen to form hydrogen bonds with other residues. So the, th the main thing here is that this introduces this destabilizing kink in the alpha helix. So anything that causes any sort of destabilization in, in something like the alpha helix is going to be problematic. And um, proline does that because, it's a, because it has a ring and rings introduce rigidity to the structure. So, and also in addition it won't have a hydrogen to form hydrogen bonds with other residues. So that also is going to play a role considering hydrogen bonding between the backbone atoms is um, extremely important for the secondary structures such as the alpha helix. Um, and the other residue that you, you might encounter or see that will have some problems is glycine. Um, glycine has more conformational flexibility than any other residue and polymers of glycine take up structures quite different from that of the alpha helix. So the thing about glycine is that it's really small. Um, it only has a hydrogen as its side chain. Instead, you know, it doesn't have any sort of elaborate side chain, just a, a single hydrogen. It's, um, it's not chiral either. It's achiral because of that hydrogen there. It um, doesn't have four different groups attached to it. And, um, you know, it's, it just it can assume a lot more. It has a lot more flexibility to assume a lot more different um, types of conformations. So, you know, if this is thrown in there, it can also have destabilizing effects on the alpha helix. So, I pretty much just wanted to mention these two residues because they, they there are problems where they'll say, here's a residue, you know, f here's a, a sequence, um, explain why this sequence is part of an alpha helix or is not part of an alpha helix, or explain which of these two is part of an alpha helix and which is part of a beta sheet. Um, the interesting thing about proline and glycine is they also have destabilizing effects on the beta sheet. So, I mean, if you saw a proline in, in something that, that reminded you of a beta sheet, um, you would all you would also assume that um, that that would also be destabilizing, probably not part of the beta sheet. So I just wanted to briefly discuss those two, just a really short um, video. Um, hopefully, it's helpful. Thanks.